for joining us um, in a presentation of this new facility. We are offering Mid Tompkins the opportunity to open the building. Is this the keys to the city? That is the keys. To the <laughs> it's the keys to this door. <laughs> We're here at the Burger Southwest Nationals on Saturday at the dedication ceremony for the new multi-purpose building. We're here with Sean from Night Force. Sean, you guys were instrumental in getting this building created. Yeah, we uh, took a, a partnership with Burger Bullets. Um, just a nice compliment for uh, two companies within the industry. Uh, had an opportunity to really provide some investment to really take the Ben Avery range to make it a truly world-class facility. So something we're excited to do. It's amazing for us to see the cooperation between the state of Arizona and an important private company like Night Force. Is this something you may be doing more of in the future? Uh, all of our options uh, are open, of course, but uh, this was a unique one because it is a state-owned and operated facility. So uh, this, we really found, was the leader in that uh, public-private fusion, so to speak. So uh, we're open to other opportunities as they come. It's great that Night Force has a presence here because I see a presence of Night Force out there on the firing line. We see a lot of guys with Night Force scopes. Yes, certainly. Um, we definitely have a strong presence in the F-Class community. Uh, they've been very good to us and we just try and return that investment they've made in us to them. Eric, this is a very exciting day for you, isn't it? No question about it. This has been a long effort, many people involved, many different agencies and companies involved. It was really nice to see it come to fruition today, for sure. Now we've got Robert here who's with the state of Arizona. This has got to be uh, a landmark event for you guys. Uh, yes, it is. This is a great example of a public-private partnership to benefit uh, the shooting sports community. And we want to thank Burger Bullets and Night Force Optics for their participation in working with us. Eric, I know it was an emotional moment for the members of the Tompkins family and, and MID. What does this mean to you individually, seeing this whole family? Well, they're such special people. Um, they, they, they give so much to the shooters. They give so much to the shooting community and their example as champions. Uh, and they're such great people. Uh, even off the firing line, the Tompkins Gallagher family is is a wonderful group of people and to see them be celebrated and you know obviously it's a dedication to mid but few people don't know of the connection to the rest of the family members and mid actually asked me right as we were getting to that point of the ceremony he says you're gonna bring my family up right and I said yes sir I will and it was just really an emotional moment that was it was great to be a part of Robert I was born and raised in California but I see a lot of stuff I like about Arizona including how you treat shooters tell us about that we, we treat shooters very well. We're, we feel we have one of the best public ranges in the country and we encourage folks to come here. Uh, we have all, all the different venues available and it's open year round. So come to beautiful Arizona. It's Febu February, it's gonna be 84 degrees today. What else can you ask for? Mid, this has gotta be an emotional day for you. Very much so. I'm very pleased and honored that they did this and surprised. <laughs> It was a special treat for you today because you had a lot of family members, including a brother I see sitting over there. Yeah, my baby brother and my sister-in-law, yeah. And Sherry's here and Michelle. The whole family was here, the whole shooting family was here. That was what made it nice. Well, in years to come, people will walk by that statue and see your name on it. What message do you have for the future shooters at this range? Just keep it up and continue the sport. Now, you told me a couple days ago that as a Boy Scout at a Boy Scout Jamboree, you started shooting. What do you have to say to those 12-year-old Boy Scouts out there right now who might consider a shooting career? Go out, pick up a firearm, a rifle, pistol, enjoy yourself. If you don't want to do competitive shooting, at least do recreation. It's a very relaxing sport and very enjoyable. And it's not just about putting holes in the target, it's about the camaraderie, isn't it? Yes. it's. All the people you get to know, all the people that are around you. I've traveled all over the world doing this. I've met a lot of people, and most shooters that you meet are all very nice. <laughs>